What is up everyone, it's Easy Easy Street Gaming. Bring you another Brutal Age video. We are gonna talk about something that we haven't heard in this game very often. It's called the meta. What is the meta? A lot of people ask. It is the most effective team available. The meta is uh, uh, a term used throughout a bunch of different games, mobile games, regular computer games. It's the most effective team available. In Brutal Age, it's, it, it shifts very quickly and uh, there are some consistent partners that are going to always kind of be up there in the top 10 but there's a lot of teams that uh, you wouldn't think are great teams w once you start playing a little more you'll understand uh, why they are so great first thing you're going to do to, to try to figure out what the what is in the meta what what the most effective team is go see what all the best players are using go next time you're in ranked matches or elite rank matches go look at number one number two number three you can click on each one and see what their partners are. You'll see you're going to see a lot of consistent, uh, consistent teams. You're going to see a lot of the blue teams too. You're going to see a lot of the blue nomad, uh, blue bape, and here the blue mar marionette with the puppet master, and another another nomad, another bape, and there with the green desert currents, and there's green tricky, probably the number one partner in the game in my opinion. So you look at all these and you start comparing the different teams and start kind of singling out well which partners are used in every single one of those combinations well there were a couple there was the blue nomad there was the blue vape so you, you have to consider them as some of the top uh, partners at least at this time and uh, remember you can have great teams uh, last last rank matches and you won't get to the top 100 you, you got to 54 last time and now you can't get to the top 100 and you don't know why well that that means that there has been changes made and the meta has changed and now the most effective team is no longer your team it's a different one so you have to you have to constantly stay on top of this this is why you need a wide range of partners including some of the three stars that, are, that you have at six stars some of the four stars five stars it changes fast at the beginning of this match here, you, you saw the, the, the green uh, ghost, you're going to see that a lot more. Now we have something, a new feature that is kind of on and off right now. I haven't seen it on every day at this point, but it's the ranked match chat room. This feature allows you to talk to other players from other servers from inside the ranked match uh, sub screen, whatever you call that. Uh, I believe it was disabled during the last server war. I was kind of excited. I, I thought that we may be able to talk to the other server in the ranked match. Uh, in the ranked match chat room but it was disabled during the last server war and it's been disabled on and off over the past week so I'm not sure exactly what's going on with it if it's a new feature that's going to stay with us or if it's just, it was just a test run but it, it does a few things that, that I really liked it allows some of the elite players to compare their partners and uh, allows the newer players to kind of sit back and watch all the top players in ranked matches and hopefully learn from them uh, there's a lot you can learn from from the big players even even conversations they have that you might think are pointless they're constantly talking about their partners are constantly talking about the different uh, the different ways to approach the match and uh, a lot of times you'll see two or three attacks on the same team and you'll see a, a couple fails and then you'll finally see the win and, and you'll see the adjustments that they made and that's really important for, for the newer players to, to see these adjustments that they make you may not have the partners to do it yet yourself, but you can you can make changes at your level to win matches that you're not winning right now. Sometimes it only takes one small change to, to win the match. Here you have the Red Nomad Blue Vape going back and forth. I'm sure the Nomad they have uh, with Ian War Pattern, so every time he strikes uh, Bape, he gets some of his health back, and Bape has... Uh, probably the brutal shield or, or the book and he gets health back that was one by the nomad one of the better partners right now uh, if you see a maxed out red nomad watch out they're dangerous I'm gonna show you a match in a few minutes that's really interesting so to stay on topic and talk about the meta I'm gonna show you a match that has an older team in it and you'll see how much it struggles with first a newer team that that's actually current in the meta and remember meta is just uh, the, the most effective team available the way this game works is that it's not always going to be the same team for you or for me it's going to be several different teams that will work inside the meta we all we all don't have the same partners 
yet there are many different combinations that will work at an elite level so just to kind of backtrack a little bit what I would do if you're trying to find the perfect team and you have a lot of options go to the number one two and three players during ranked matches check them all out see what they're using you might be surprised uh, I believe we just saw a look at the, the blue war maiden I hadn't seen her in a long time I believe she does that first attack that uh, takes 80% of the opponents hit health away now I don't know if you if everyone's noticed but you'll see a lot of the red god of earth you see a lot of the nomads you see a lot of desert prince and you even see his three stars in there uh, which is the, the dragon man N not saying he's in the meta right now because I don't, I don't think he is even though that was a well that was a KO and a half right there that was berserker from server 264 and now we're gonna get a look a, a few attacks I got a few attacks from the same player uh, he's from server 444 not I've never really talked to him personally so I don't know exactly how he does his name but it looks like 219 in GBO it's probably, I probably just torched that so he's using a very unique team he's using the the red mr. football along with red Ursa and a couple of uh, a, a couple nomads And the reason why I really wanted to show this match is because just because a player is doing well with a team and they're winning matches does not necessarily mean that that, that team's in the meta. This team might be really dangerous for someone else to play with, especially if you're not very careful on who, you, who you're up against. Uh, Mr. Football is a, is a pretty flimsy partner overall. He does do some high damage. So I wouldn't suggest basing your team around Mr. Football. That team right there is actually based around Mr. Football. Without him, that team falls apart. Uh, believe it or not, I, I know Ursa and, and the Nomads are everywhere else, but uh, the red football player really makes it. With the, he makes the the two two players invincible. Then he does that big single target attack. So really powerful attack. But does that make Mr. Football uh, in the meta? As far as do you want him on every one of your teams? I'm gonna have to say no on that. Here's another match with the same player, uh, 219 in GBO, and this is up against two Gods of Earth, plus the, plus the Green Desert Prince. Uh, Green Desert Prince, probably the best partner against Blue Nomad, but now you see Mr. Football's effectiveness, just one shots the Green Guard of Earth, and now him and Ursa are both protected by the invincibility, and there you'll see the Prince working on the Nomad. Nomads don't stand much of a chance against the, the Desert Prince, but that's the same exact scenario that he has against Red Ursa. She just annihilates him. Ursa is definitely in the meta. Green Prince in the meta. Blue Nomad in the meta. Red Nomad in the meta. There's a bunch more. Go to the top of your elite rank matches or, the, or your regular rank matches. And you will find, an, just to interrupt myself, there's Vampire. One of the very few other YouTubers out for brutal age excellent player just wanted to give a little shout out to him now instead of playing another match let's go let's go look at the top of the rank matches one more time check out all the partners that we have at the top of this server and I'll go over kind of what the meta is one more time just so everyone knows that everyone that didn't, didn't know before will know now and you'll know how to how to at least investigate and find out what the um, elite partners are and what the, what's in the meta uh, remember the meta is not one particular set of partners at any given time it could be several different sets that will all work just as effectively with each other so uh, let's see here where am I I I'm in the I'm in the uh, the ranked match chat room looking at the number three I believe it is and there you have blue nomad blue babe blue marionette and the green tricky green tricky being the best of the best right now at least very similar now here's another one blue babe blue marionette blue nomad green tricky are we gonna have three in a row <laughs> very close you have blue cha cha green tusk green desert prince and the green lucky i, I got it i got it out so now you can see on this server we have very similar teams sitting up at one two and three I don't know if that's because they saw the number one person was using that team so they switched teams and they want to be competitive on the same exact team 
uh, or if one player just got there earlier than the rest. But we know this: when you see three very similar teams sitting at the top of ranked matches, you can assume that that's though that team will be in the meta. Uh, Tricky is definitely in the meta. Uh, the Green Desert Prince is. The Blue Nomad is. Blue Cha Cha is. Blue Bape is. Red Ursa is. We have a lot of ises. Go check out your server. T check out the top three. Talk to you. Talk to the elite players in your server. Figure out what the meta is. Uh, concentrate on this stuff, and you'll become a better player. The, the partners are gonna are here for, to stay. Try to do as best you can with them by talking to everyone, improving your partners, getting out there and playing as much as possible. Become a student of the game. You'll be better than me in no time. Probably already are. <laughs> Appreciate everyone for watching. Sub to the channel if you have not already. And I, I really, I can't say it enough, I really appreciate everyone out there that watches every week. And until next time, it's been easy. Take care, everybody.